Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Mitch at Oshkosh and he's gonna talk us through this awesome Honda Jet behind us. How are you, Mitch? I'm good, how about yourself? I'm good. So Mitch, what is the actual make and model of this jet? So this is the Honda Jet, our, our latest version, the Honda Jet Elite 2. You're a pilot of this aircraft. What's the best feature about this aircraft that you like? Uh, it, it's just a well-built airplane. Yeah. Uh, the control harmonies on the aircraft are well-balanced. It's the highest altitude in its class at flight level 430, so you can get above the weather where oh, wow. uh, some of the other airplanes in its class cannot. It's one of the most efficient jets uh, in its class as well, with a top speed of 422 knots. So some of the unique designs about this aircraft is how the jet is actually placed. Why is it like that? So with the Honda Jet, it's a unique over-the-wing engine mounting. So yeah. we're the only manufacturer that does that. And we've done that because the aircraft's laminar flow, and with the engine the way it's mounted over the wings, it's a very efficient design. So it allows the airplane to be uh, more fuel efficient and fly faster. But there's other benefits that came with it because uh, without the engines mounted to the fuselage, uh, there's no carry through spar for the yeah. engines to mount to, which gives us a much larger baggage space and allows us to push the cabin back further. All right, so this is a beautiful aircraft you have here. What dollars are we talking for this? Uh, for a new airplane, um, we're uh, sold out to 2026. Wow. Uh, and for a well-equipped aircraft, you're looking at about $8 million. It's going to include things like uh, emergency auto land, yeah. uh, auto throttles, uh, and all the upgrades that have come with the Elite 2. So you mentioned that they're sold out till 2026. How many are actually produced every year? So uh, depending on the year, uh, but typically we average around 30 aircraft a year. So where are these Honda Jets actually made? Uh, our headquarters are in Greensboro, North Carolina, with our factory as well. So that's where we do all of the production of the aircraft and deliveries. And we also have a service center at our headquarters as well. Can we have a look inside? Absolutely. Let's take a look. Thanks. First thing I noticed was the plenty of legroom. Yep. With the Honda Jet, it has the largest club in its class as well. We're class yep. leading on several levels. Uh, but the beauty of this club is you can actually have two people sitting across from each other and have plenty of space. Uh, to, to stretch out or uh, just have your own personal space on some longer flights. So does anything actually pop out the side here? Yes, yeah, so here we have a, a table that will come out if you yeah. want to lift that uh, lid. Yeah. And then there's a handle to pull the table out. Wow, nice marble. Yes, for sure. And it allows you to, if you want to have some catering in flight, you have plenty of space. There's also a table on this side as well. So do we have a full toilet in the back? Yeah, and uh, what's unique with this aircraft that's not on most uh, aircraft of this size is it's uh, externally serviceable as well. Yeah. So the, they can be serviced by a line person outside the aircraft as opposed to having to service it from inside the airplane. This is an amazing cockpit. So I mentioned this is an all glass cockpit. What screens do we actually have here? So this is the Garmin 3000. Um, it has two touchscreen controllers. Yeah. Uh, and three displays, uh, two primary displays and a multifunction display. In this. So as a main pilot, are you looking at just the front and middle one or are you looking at all three? Uh, typically, it's just going to be your first two. Yep. Um, this screen will be, you can set it up to uh, a different view if you'd like. Yep. Um, but usually you'll be looking at these and, and one of the beauties is it also has integrated checklists that oh. are pilot controllable. So yeah. you can go through your different checklists so you don't actually need any paper checklists on the airplane. Everything down here actually looks really nice and tidy with the throttle levers. And the, the way it was designed is it's a, a very, it's a optimized for single pilot operations. Yeah. And you'll see in this configuration, everything is pointing forward. All of your switches are in normal. And that's all done to reduce pilot workload. So normally up here you would have a lot of switches, right? Did Honda Jet do that to simplify everything? Yeah, we we took a lot of time integrating the avionics into the airframe. Yeah. So a lot of the checks that you would normally do that would be manual checks are now built into the system. So making again that pilot workload much less uh, during normal and abnormal operations. All right, Mitch, you're a lucky pilot. When my YouTube channel grows a bit more, I'll be able to afford to come for a fly with you. We'd love to have you anytime. Yeah. Thanks, Mitch. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this.